This is a game about climbing a mountain. All you have to do is reach the top. All you have to do is reach the top. This is it, Madeline. Just breathe. You can do this. Celeste is a 2018 platformer about a girl trying to climb a mountain and deal with the demons within her. And coincidentally, the first game I chose to play as I branch out from my blocky bubble. It combines a beautiful mix of 8-bit graphics, a musical symphony, and a heartfelt story lying to be discovered within the cold, frozen peaks of the mountain. Today I'll be talking about how I found the game, what my first experience of it was, and what I'm excited for next. As always, if you enjoy these videos and want to see more, feel free to leave a like or subscribe. With that, let's get right into the video. The exact origins of when I discovered Celeste are hard to find, but the earliest I could date it back to was 2020. With the release of the Nether update in Minecraft, Lona Rain stepped in as a new musical composer for new tracks and music discs within the game. Hearing this and liking new songs, I decided to check out some of her previous work, stumbling across Celeste in the process. And that is as far as it would go for a very long time. It fell into this category of games that looked cool to me and seemed fun, but I'd never actually get around to starting them, hence my limited knowledge surrounding it. This is actually where a lot of games end up for me, as I tend to stick to games that are open world and widely explorable. But the hope for this game wasn't lost, and with my upcoming schedule change for other games besides Minecraft and both streaming and video making, I knew I wanted it to be one of the first games I went into. With the very generous offer of a friend who bought me the game, I was able to slot it in as my first branch out into the wider gaming universe, and I was able to see what all the hype was about. And oh boy, was the hype deserved. Over the course of a two hour livestream, I jumped right into my first ever playthrough of Celeste. With some early streams set up and adjusting the controls, I was able to play through the beginning and the full of chapter one, though I didn't realize at the time I was at the end. Generally I can separate my impressions into two sections, the game and the story. Let's talk about the game first. As with most games, going into it with no experience made setting up the controls essential and important to having a good time playing it. Apart from those, however, the way the game builds upon its moveset and mechanics is very smooth. It slowly builds onto what you already know, adding a bit of challenge along the way to keep your mind turning. But it makes sure not to be so advanced that it seems impossible. And then there's the story. We learn as chapter one goes on that the character we play as, Madeline, has become determined to climb this mountain no matter what. She is closed off and used to avoiding others, but even with her mysterious nature, she can't help but open a crack of trust towards a fellow climber, Theo. Even with his few lines, we can see him start to chip away at Madeline's icy exterior and begin to build a connection with her as she climbs further towards her goal. To continue the train of praise, the art style and graphic design within the game is wonderful, and the music complements the feeling of climbing a cold, unforgiving mountain, making the pockets of warmth and comfort you find that much more special and worth holding on to. Some of my favorite moments are when the game acknowledges something has changed, moments where the music quiets down, the level has given way to a gentle break in your climb, and you look around at the scene in front of you. The two best examples of this are the first meeting place of Theo and the end of chapter one around the gravesite, commemorating the lives of those who never finished the climb. These moments show me that even if they're not important to our original quest to climb the mountain and leave, they may be foreshadowing changes within us as we learn more about ourselves and letting people into that bubble. Excited? No. I am more than excited. Yes, without a doubt, I cannot wait to play this game again. All the mechanics, music, storytelling, they just blend so well into each other and captivate me to want nothing more than to open the program and jump back in. This game has shown me that there's a world of good stories, graphics, and gameplay out there, and all I have to do is find them. And what better way to show my appreciation for this game than to create some art surrounding it? So without further ado, enjoy my first piece of Celeste.
And with that, we reached the end of the video. This video had to be written about five times due to some circumstances. <coughs> the first last VOD didn't save with the audio and I had trouble locating it when I found Celeste itself, it was kind of a mess. <coughs> so I'm very happy I managed to get it out. I hope you enjoyed the little mix of gaming and speed paints in the background. I thought I'd experiment a little bit this one. As always, if you want to watch these streams live, go check and follow my Twitch, and I'll see you all next week with another video. See ya!